大家好，我是马老师。大家好，我是 Jovis。If you guys don't know, we are content creators based in Wuhan, and we just want to let everyone know that we are healthy and doing well, and we hope the same for everyone else. If you have been following our channel for a while, you probably already know. In our channel, number one, we never talk about politics. Number two, we never judge any countries. Number three, we also never pipe up. He just based on something that we don't even think is true. Because we are Chinese and American couple, so whenever we say something. We always try very carefully to evaluate. Are we saying this because of the truth or because of we have a bias? So recently, an international news agency contacted us through Weibo after they saw one of our videos that apparently got pretty big, and they asked us if we were willing to do a voluntary interview to answer some questions they had about our daily life here in Wuhan during the quarantine. Since a lot of people that we know have asked us how we are doing here, we thought that this would be a really great opportunity to give people the realistic view and an objective view of what our daily life is like. So they ask us a few questions about what is our daily life look like here and how do we feel. So we just tell them the truth. Everything is fine with us so far, and we are not too worried that we will get sick because we are staying at home. But so far, our family is not going out, so. We know that we will be safe at home,、um, and we are not too worried. There is a, I think there's kind of a rumor going around that there's a, going to be a food shortage, or we're worried about the amount of food that's going to be in Wuhan. But to be honest, this is kind of a lie. Like、uh, the supermarket here is fully stocked when we went. What do you think about the fact that you are essentially trapped in Wuhan? We do not think that we are trapped in Wuhan because we said this is the holiday season. Uh, we are just chilling at home, and we honestly feel like being here in Wuhan and in our home is a lot safer than anywhere else in China right now. So we actually gave them a lot of footage describing how there actually isn't a food or water shortage here, thanks to the donation of the Shandong people. We gave them clips of our fully stocked fridge. We went to the grocery store and showed them all of the fully stocked food there, and we just simply explained about how the daily life most people are just. Chilling at home. We didn't talk about the hospitals at all because we just have an experience. We don't really know what's going on there fully, and we just don't feel comfortable talking about that. So once this news channel has this footage, they can do whatever they want to it. So in the end, they choose to cut out most of what we said and only chose a joke that Jovis said something about growing his own mint and we could eat it if we were starving. They even added scary horror movie music just to make it sound even more intense and scary. Within two days, this Korean news has actually got quite an impact on YouTube, and it already got 1.8 million views right now. And because it was all in Korean subtitles, so we don't really understand what is it about. But all we know is many of our Korean friends have been calling us, asking us, "How are we doing? Are we dying? Are we starving?" We have to clarify that it's not because Korea, as a country or as a people group, that they hate China, and that's why they are making up videos like this. But it's really because as the private-owned media company, they need to get views, and views equal money for them. And by making their story horrifying or scary, touching, whatever, it really stirs people's emotion. And at the end, this is how they trigger people to likes and share and following them. So in the end, we just really want to say, please, 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 realize that this is not just a Korean thing, nor is it just a Western media issue. It's an issue that every country culture, including our own, has. They make the title sound scary. They have very emotional or scary BGM. Then they only report half truth, all just to get views. So after all this, it makes us really just wonder: Wow, how much of the media and news that we see is actually the whole truth? In the end, there are two takeaways that we want to give you. The first is learn how to think critically. Don't take everything that the media says and believe it. But at the same time, don't think that all the media says is fake news. Really, when you see something, ask yourself: Is this source credible? And also, is this really true? And number two, our purpose is not that you will go on and hate Korea and any other countries, because there is really no need to hate an entire people group just based on one private-owned news media. And、uh, who decided to do something like this to make money?、Mm. And regardless, our Korean friend is actually all really nice. Many of them have contacted us and asked how are we doing, and some even ask if we want them to send us masks and any other supplies, donation, whatever they can do to help.
。OK， 我们节目就到这里。如果你觉得我们的视频对你们有帮助，欢迎你给我们点个赞，帮我们转发一下。让更多的人可以看到这个媒体背后的运作模式。另外，我们也决定把这条视频上传到我们新开的 YouTube 账号上面去。如果你希望有更多人可以看到我们，欢迎你来 YouTube 上面给我们一点支持。So see you next time. Bye.